Hello there, Richie Vitale here, and I want to talk to you about taking a Freddie Hubbard line and putting it through a few different keys. The line goes like this. And if I take it down a step, it sounds like this. And then taking it down another step. Now doing that, I'm hitting the lowest note on the trumpet, which is an F sharp. Uh, so if I wanted to continue lower with this line, I change it a little. So um, you'll hear me changing the ending of it. So there's three different versions. Um, the object uh, of this um, exercise is not to play uh, what Freddie played in exactly the same way or manner, but to develop lines um, to fit your style. And is this okay to do? Um, some people may think it's plagiaristic, but if Barry Harris could take a Bud Powell line and make an exercise out of it, I figure I could take a um, Freddie Hubbard line and make an exercise out of it. Now, the amazing thing about Freddie and uh, Woody Shaw is their facility, and it was am amazing in all ranges. And the tone didn't change uh, in their um, sound when they went from low to high. It was simply beautiful. And the way I remember this line is I'm actually switching my thought from the two minor to the major to the dominant. And I'll show you how that works. I'm going to take this line down a half a step and slow it down and tell you how I think about it. Um, a minor 7. G major. Going down chromatically to the root. And then the major 7th. Next note is the 2nd. Or the ninth of a D7. And then I'm playing chromatically. And now A minor. Pretty cool. So uh, for transposition purposes, when I slow it down, it makes life much easier to think this way. Now, whether Freddie learned it this way or not is his business. But if I want to take something from other players that I think is really cool and I could add to my uh, style and my manner of playing, that's the way I go about it. So. I hope this helps you uh, in understanding this line and transposing it. And also it's um, a lesson on switching your thinking. When I'm on a major chord, sometimes I'm thinking of the dominant and actually playing the dominant and vice versa. Sometimes I'm on a D dominant and I'm actually playing A minor or vice versa on an A minor and thinking D dominant. So. Um, and then sometimes I play a line where I'm switching my thinking. I'd also like to thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Also, if you have any ideas for a future tips and tricks video, please share that below. So thank you for watching. Stay safe and happy holidays.